Here's a quick tutorial of how to draw an equilateral triangle in Scratch. Um, so the goal here will be to get the cat to move uh, and, and form a triangle. So I've moved the cat from the center of the screen down to the uh, bottom left just so we have mo room to create our triangle. Uh, we're going to do an equilateral triangle so all the side lengths will be the same length and all of the angles will be the same uh, and each of those angles will be 60 degrees. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, click on events when the green flag is clicked, we'll start our program. And when the green flag is clicked, um, the first thing we want to do is to put the pen down, and that's just going to allow us to trace the path of the cat. So the pen is going to go down. To get the first side of our triangle, we're going to move. I'm going to click on motion, choose move, and I'm going to choose 150 steps to give us a decent sized triangle. And then once it's moved the 150 steps, I'm just going to delay for a second so that you can see. Otherwise, this happens really quickly. So I'm going to click on, uh, I'm going to click on Control, choose Wait. We'll just wait for a second, and then we need to rotate. Now the angle in the triangle is 60 degrees, uh, but we're actually rotating uh, the exterior angle, so the angle outside the triangle, which is the supplementary angle. The supplementary angle is 180 minus the 60, which is the interior angle, for 120. So We'll click on motion and we're going to rotate to the left 120 degrees. Now we need to repeat this. We want to uh, have this happen uh, for three different sides, so we'll actually introduce a loop. I might just put a, uh, a d another delay in here so that we can see that, uh, that rotation. So we'll rotate, we can delay for a second, and then we're going to repeat um, the moving and the rotating. And because we're doing a triangle, we want to repeat three times to give us our three sides. So if we click on the green flag, there goes our cat, rotate 120 degrees, another line, rotate 120 degrees, and now it's back in its starting position. So we've created an equilateral triangle. Um, an interesting thing to look at, a possible extension or challenge here, would be to have the cat draw, say, either an isosceles triangle or possibly a scalene triangle, and have uh, students maybe notice what the sum of the angles inside the triangle has to be. Um, that challenge might be a little difficult, uh, perhaps an easier one, maybe not, but perhaps another challenge would be to now go ahead and draw a pentagon. Um, so we've done a three-sided figure here, a uh, four-sided figure, uh, like a square would be fairly straightforward. And to draw a pentagon, we're looking at a five-sided figure. We can make it a regular pentagon, so all the side lengths are the same and all the angles are the same. Uh, the question is, what is that angle of rotation going to be? Um, so you might want to look at the sum of the angles in a three-sided figure, the sum of the angles in a four-sided figure, and see if you can kind of find the pattern and, and guess what the sum in a five-sided figure would be. Um, once you sort of get the pattern, uh, creating a a uh, hexagon or a heptagon or an octagon uh, it becomes really easy. It's basically changing a couple of uh, numbers in the code in the program uh, to have your uh, program execute efficiently. So give the triangle a try. Try the challenges and see what you can come up with. That's it for now.